Hi guys, I'm Ariel and today we're making ice cream. We're gonna be making two really simple recipes, just vanilla and chocolate. The only thing special you really need for this uh, recipe is an ice cream maker. I'm just using a Cuisinart. The only thing you need to prep this recipe is for the ice cream bowl, you do need to leave it in the freezer for at least eight hours or overnight is even better. Uh, for the actual recipe, I'm using gelatin instead of eggs. Most recipes use eggs to make a custard, especially in vanilla, but the gelatin gives it pretty much the same results, I think actually better results. So let's see how it's made. So to prepare the base for the vanilla ice cream, uh, you need three cups of heavy cream, one cup of milk, and just heat that up slowly in a medium saucepan. Add in half a cup of sugar, a half a teaspoon of gelatin, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now you're going to want to whisk that very, very well because the gelatin tends to stick together and by the time you finish uh, heating it up and you want to strain it, the gelatin forms uh, clumps. So basically the goal here is just to heat up the mixture, get everything incorporated and minimize clumps. So now the mixture is heated up and everything is incorporated. You can turn off the heat and just strain this mixture to make sure there's no clumps left. And if there are gelatin, you can force them through. And just set this in an airtight container overnight or at least six hours. So now for our chocolate ice cream, uh, the base is identical in the recipe. The only thing we're changing is instead of using two teaspoons of vanilla, we're using three tablespoons of cocoa powder. So once the milk is heated up just a little bit, you can add in your sugar. Add in your gelatin. And you can add in your cocoa powder. Now for the vanilla base, you did need to whisk it pretty well, just because you want to remove all clumps of gelatin. The cocoa powder will form way more clumps. So you do need to whisk this one a lot more. So now once again, once the base is heated up slightly and everything is mixed together well, you can turn the heat off, strain this, and set this away in your fridge for at least six hours or overnight. All right, so first we're gonna do the vanilla ice cream. When you pull the mixture out from the fridge, you're gonna to wanna to stir it very well because some of the clumps start to form from the gelatin. Get the ice cream machine in motion. Pour it in slowly. Now just let that mix for about 10 minutes or until you see everything start to reach the same texture. So you don't want to see any parts of the mixture be partly cream and partly frozen. So just let that uh, form together well. And now you can just repeat the same process with the chocolate. So at this point, the texture is pretty consistent and everything is well mixed together. You can turn it off and place it in an airtight container uh, for at least four hours in your freezer. So we finally have our ice cream made. As you can see, the recipe is really, really simple. All it takes is some time and some patience. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to be coming out with 
possibly two more episodes for uh, for ice cream. Those are gonna be a little bit more creative. So just stick around and like, comment, and subscribe.